of pyramids and cones. So if you have a pyramid, what shape makes up your walls? Triangles. Yeah. So we have a lot of triangles today. And what's nice for all of our triangles? These in our homework. They're all going to be congruent. To find the area of one, multiply by how many sides you may have. So it turns out to be pretty, pretty nice. The only thing different about a pyramid is that there's a thing called a slant height, and that's the actual height of your lateral. So the height of your pyramid goes from your vertex to the base. We don't really care about that, to be honest. We care about the slant height so we can find the area of this triangle here. So the slant height is what's important. Ready to start? Try and find some surface area. Hold the groans, because what kind of shape is our base on this one? Hexagon. hexagon. You guys remember how to find the area of a hexagon from last chapter? Oh, it's the pop and stuff. The pop and stuff? Half what? What's our formula? Half, half of pop and times our perimeter. I'm going to start off with a right triangle because that's what we care about. And the bottom will be 2.5. Do you guys agree 2.5 down here? And how do you find your angle? 180 divided by 2. Nope. 360 divided by 6, which gives me... Then I divide that by 2. 30. Yep. For our short side, it's 2.5, but for our long side, 2.5. Yep. That's a approximate that. Anyone know what that is? Or can you tell me? Okay. So we found our path then to be 4.3. What would our perimeter be? 5 times a what? 6.30. Alright. That's enough info now. Base area. Half our apothem times our perimeter. What do we get? Then we said what shape makes up our lateral walls? Triangle. Triangle. How do you find the area of a triangle? Thank you, Max. What's the base of our triangle? Five, right? And what's our slant height? Eight. Eight. So four times five gives me twenty. How many triangles? All the way around. Six times twenty. One twenty. Total surface area. Add them together. What do we get? Centimeters. Oh, it wasn't hard though. You guys know how to find the area of all those things. That took, you see how long that took, Kristen? Like five minutes. That took like three and a half minutes. That took five. Four minutes, 35 seconds online. Yeah, but the first part was me walking through. Yes. Why does it say Gordon McDonald's order? Um, I think. It is for DECA. It's for DECA, but I don't understand the kiosk part. Okay, so I have McDonald's at kiosk there, and if you order from the kiosk, they'll give like a dollar yeah, like, profit they make from that and give it to me. Their kiosk.
computers and to the computer. Just like yeah. on your own, like yeah. self ordering? Yeah. yeah. If you have a card. So, if you want to support Kesha, go to McDonald's on South Washington. Yeah. And if you want to support a better group called FDL, yeah. 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 What kind of shape is our base on this pyramid? Square. Square. How do you find the area of a square? Base times height. 12 times 12 is? 144. 144. Lateral area. Half base times height. Okay, do we know our slant height? No. What can I use to find it? So I know this would be 16, but what would this distance be? Six. Oh, you guys. I think it's past you. We're good. That's what it is, 256. Yeah, 17. 17? Yeah. Even? No. I mean, it's about. 17.1? Yeah, 17.1. Uh, what's the base of our triangle? 12, right? We want that whole side. And then our height is 17.1. Anyone want to tell me 6 times 17.1? 102.6. How many triangles make up our pyramid? Four. For a grand total of? And then total surface area. What do we get, folks? Okay, our next. And last, shape behind surface area is a cone. What's our base shape? Circle. How do you find the area of a circle? Oh, raise you. Pi r squared. So that's how you find your base area. And then to get this goofy, like, this reminds me of like, those like, fans, you know, with like the designs on these. You know yeah, no. I don't know what they're, what they're called, the Chinese fan, yeah. That's your lateral area, and that's pi times your radius times. Slant height. That's what the L stands for. Pi R L. So you want to jot down that formula. Pi R squared plus Pi R L. Again, L is your slant height. And we'll try one of those together just to make sure we know how to do that. What are we missing to find the surface area of this cone? Slant height, right? I don't know what this distance is here. So what do we have to use to find it? Isn't that your favorite theorem? No, not even close. Which one's your favorite, Brayden? Relativity. This one's pretty easy. If you use small numbers, like I can do this. Like if I know what like the square is, it's fine. But nine point two.
Okay, what is our radius? Six plus pi six times our slant height of nine point two. Okay, so I give you a grand total. Did you get your calculator? What do we get approximately, folks? So you guys get? Point five. Something like that, depending how you round. And what you got to do in your calculator. <coughs> yeah, that's all I have for you. Your homework's real short. I don't have to do. That's where we go.